Now it can be handy to have say a swatches panel and a color panel close by to where you're working in your image, but having to move them around when they appear in front of what you want to edit can be tedious. It requires you to click and drag and move them around constantly. Now you can dock panels together. So if I wish to create a column of panels, I can take my cursor, hover over the word color, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag upwards. Just positioning this panel underneath the one called swatches. Keep dragging until your cursor is the thing that Photoshop is looking for here. Then when that reaches the very bottom of the panel above it, the panel you're dragging, in this case color, turns translucent. When you see the blue line appear, that means that you can release the mouse and it will dock it underneath, allowing you to click and drag the bar across the top to reposition both panels around. If you wanted to see both sets of options in here on a regular basis, that's a really efficient way to work. If however, you're unlikely to want to see both of them at the same time, but still keep them docked together, you can take the color panel name here, click and hold down on its tab and drag upwards and onto the position where the other tab name is. In this case, swatches. You'll then see a blue outline appear around the whole of that panel. Let go of the mouse and it docks them together in what's called a tabbed workflow, where you click on the tabs for those panels and you see just one at a time, but it takes up less screen real estate. Now you might notice that over here on the right hand side, we have a, a symbol for a panel, which is shown in button mode and that is in a separate column of its own. If you wish to create an additional column, you can click and drag that panel across. Once your cursor reaches the left edge of that other column, you'll see a tall blue line appear, indicating that if you release the left mouse button now, you'll create a third column. That can be collapsed and you can choose to leave the symbol and the text label. Uh, you can choose to have the text, you can choose, You can choose to have the text description. You can choose to have the text shown in the button or just the symbol itself by hovering your cursor over the left edge of that panel and dragging towards the right hand side. That will be then just shown in button mode. If this is one of your first times using Photoshop and you wish to see the names, well, you can hover over the buttons and it will give you a text label, but you can click and drag and pull the left edge out again in there to be able to see those descriptions. Hover over and left click and you can access the options for those panels. Click again and they'll disappear. And that's how you can modify and arrange your panels in Photoshop.